Well, hey McFly subscribers. So this is the first time I'm back tying since my surgery. It's kind of little, but yeah, I had carpal tunnel in both hands and cubital tunnel. So I got some stitching on my elbow as well. But that was last Friday. And right now is Thursday. So about a week and I'm back finally uh, now. <laughs> Been having Advil. So that helps. So we're going to see how I do here. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be able to do this or not, but let's give it a go. So I'm using the Barbless Nymph 9231 in size 12. I actually, this is for a customer. I'm selling it. Um, customer had ordered these. They are Bully Bluegills. Uh, next, I'm going to use 0 0.015 sized lead wire. Um, I actually use lead free, but you can use regular lead up to you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do eight wraps. I push this together, try to flatten it as much as possible, get that towards the back, hold it, and then we're gonna come, try to oh, wrap. This is a kind of a tricky part. It wants to jump back over itself. Boy, it's hard to do with my fingers the way they are right now, guys. All right. So one, two, three, oh, it's wanting to spin, four, five, oh, five, sorry guys, I cannot, <laughs> six, oh, seven, eight okay so that's a total of 16 i hope i'm gonna wrap one more because i think i missed one now usually i would just break this off but i don't have the dexterity right now to be able to do that uh, my fingers hurt too bad to be able to do it so i'm gonna have to clip this off so let's go ahead and clip that off close oof kind of hurt <laughs> oof. I can kind of do this, guys. I'll tell you, I was a little bored. I was really excited to get back tying, so we'll make this happen. All right, and then we leave this to the back. So if you've ever seen Bully Bluegills before, they have a weight in the back, and what that does is it allows us to sit with the hook points kind of sticking, sticking up, the hook eye sticking up, and it sinks this way. Um, it's a really interesting fly, and it works really well. Uh, next, I'm going to be using 6 Ot. Now, this customer asked for 3 tan, 2 black. So, we'll start the thread. It doesn't have to be all the way to the front. We're just going to come here. And then we're going to jump up over to the back here. Let me push this up slightly. Okay. There we go. And I usually leave the thread on to jump over because it makes it a little easier. Just so you know. A little trick there. All right, so we leave a little bit of a like thread dam in the front to hold it and one in the back and you can tell that's moving around and twisting and we're going to fix that in a minute. But um, so right here, there's a big bump and what I like to do is I like to try and it's going to make it easier in the next step, um, kind of make like a little ramp of thread. So it transitions a little better. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna end right back there. Next, hopefully I can open this. Sometimes these super glues are a little tight. Oh, okay. So I got this brush on, super glue Loctite, and we're just gonna brush that all the way up. You know what? <laughs> Probably would have been best to brush up in a second so oh well we'll fix that all right so we want to tie this right in in the back you can see I caught it so it's right on top make a couple really tight wraps there and then bring this up and that'll be fine there's a lot of glue still there all right so we're gonna bring that up now you could use the rotary feature um, but on the first couple so if you have rotary, that is. In the first couple wraps, I really like starting this um, hand wrap like this because jumping up over that 
tends to be a tough. So now that I've got it there, I can now use the rotary feature and just start making touching wraps up the hook shank. Now, as you can see, that made like a nice, instead of like a bump, made a nice transition there. Um, what happens is if there's a bump right there, then it tends to um, jump and then you expose the, um, the uh, wire. So you don't want to do that. So I right up top, right there, excuse the neighbor's dog barking. Neighbor just got a little puppy. It's cute, but I think it's noisy. All right. So now that that's there, we're going to, we, we captured it a couple times. I'm going to cut this off. Shoot. I was going to cut it off really close. <laughs> See if we can fix this. Well, first time back tying guys. So now, see, we use the super glue, so that's a good thing. So that kind of helped here. It kept all that together. Let's make sure that's really twisted on tight. Let's get off all this excess wire, or I'm sorry, thread. So you want to cut it off tight, but I guess not that tight. <laughs> now we're going to make a nice smooth little area here. Next, we are going to use these centipede legs. Montana Fly Company centipede legs. I like them. I like round legs for these. And I like the fact that these are speckled round legs. So that works really well. And the size I'm using is medium. It's the perfect size for it. Um, this is a size 12. Now, if you were going much smaller, maybe you could use the, the um, small size. daughter's howling just trying to copy the dog boy this is a going to be an interesting video guys sorry about that all right so i tied this in like so i had actually i took one sorry i should have talked uh about it um so i took one here of these centipede legs i i folded it in half and i tied it right in the center so we've got a loop here and then two coming off the back here and then we tied this in uh, right on top, but we want to, I've got this turned a little bit towards you guys so you can see it a little better. We want to separate that and then we're going to pull this up over in between and we are going to wrap that on like so. And you'll see in a second what that does. Now we're just going to build this head up, cover up the, the legs with some wraps. And unfortunately, since I cut the thread, I've got a little bit sticking up here. This won't be as neat and clean as I usually tie them. All right, so like a four or five turn whip finish is good enough because we're going to cement the head. All right, so I finish on the bottom here, cut that, and then you can take the time here to cut there. Boy, this is great timing, guys. I got the mail or the trash truck coming. A little noisy. Start tying and everything happens at the same time. So I don't know if you can hear any of this, but it is what it is. All right. So next, to finish this off, and I, I really like this stuff. Um, it's Solarez Bone Dry or Ultra Thin. It comes with this little handy paintbrush here. Now you could use like the super glue if you want. You could use head cement, um, but you'll see in a second why I really like this stuff. You don't want to get any in the eye of the hook, but look at how nice and shiny that head is. It makes a really nice glossy finish here. So. You're done. You could leave these long or you could cut them a little shorter. So I like to pull them up like this and cut them all the same length. Don't have to be real short. Um, what, how this swims, uh, it hits the water and it sinks this way. And these kind of stick up and flutter above it. And it looks like a little spider. That's why it's called a bully bluegill spider. Uh, but it looks like a spider falling through the water. Now you could cut these even shorter. Sometimes I'll cut them to like there. 
and have real short ones. Um, you can have them just right to the back. So there, you can cut them a little shorter. I'm gonna leave them long for the customer and let him cut them to his length, but up to you how you wanna cut them. But there we go. There is the first fly I've tied. Well, I'm gonna be honest, second fly. I did tie one right before this, so there's the other one. You can see much cleaner head and much better looking there. But um, second fly I've tied since my surgery. So um, let's go ahead. Uh, there's two. I'm going to tie one that is uh, in the tan color that he wanted, and I'll show you guys how to do that. And these can be tied in any color combo that you want. Um, Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, there's eight. Let's push it together. Um, you know, common are going to be like chartreuse. That's really common. Um, the black is a good color here. Uh, tan, of course. Um, even hot pink or any of those. Two, three, four, five, oh, six. Can't tie as tight, so it wants to rotate a little more. Seven, eight. Let me just do one more to really kind of flatten that out. There we go. And let's cut this off. Again, usually I would just break it off, but I don't think I've got the strength to do that in my hands right now. But yeah, um, reds. Brown is a really good color too. I like brown a lot. Change out the color of the thread. Since we're using tan, let's see. I think like a darker head, like a brown will work. And the same thing, Viva 6 Ot. Okay, and brown color. So again, start it right in front and then pop over it like so. Cut off that excess thread. Come back forward. Ooh. Oh, my hands just are not as strong as they used to be. All right, so now let's build that ramp. And bring this to the back. And depending on how many you're tying, um, if you're tying like 10 of these, you want about an 18 inch piece. Um, maybe a little more actually. But um, if you're only tying like two or three, you can get away with like less than 12 inches of material. So you're cutting out the, you know what, I didn't even mention this, this chenille on the last one. Sorry, so I got this ultra chenille, the micro size. Um, same thing with the micro size. This one's black, that one was the tan color. Um, or the one that we're using now is tan. We're just going to capture that right on top here. Make a couple really tight wraps to lock that into place so it doesn't pull out. And then we can bring our thread all the way up. Stop a little shy. And now we can paint the, see I'm gonna do this one right. Can paint that super glue on and that'll just hold everything together. Again, I like to start these You can unravel that. It really doesn't matter. You're building a head anyway, so. All right. Let's get in there and hopefully not cut our thread this time. There we go. I want it close, but you definitely don't want to cut your thread. All right. So next, I'm using the same thing, centipede legs, but I'm using the brown. Let me see if I can find it. Speckled tan and brown, also the medium size. We're just folding that in half like before, trying to align the tips as best as we can. We're gonna tie this in right in the center. Okay, I'm gonna split these just a little bit. Let's redo this.
I do not have the strength right now in my hands as much after this surgery, so bear with me, guys. All right. I'm going to separate this, and then we're going to pull this right in between, like so. And then just build up that head. We got a little bit of a bump there. That's okay. Four turn whip finish. Cut that off close. And then cut that out in the center. Pull these up. Go ahead and cut them flush for the final step. And resin that head up. Well, you could do a second coat if you want, because it will soak in. It's pretty thin stuff if you want it really glossy, which I'll do so you guys can see it. There we go. You can see that's a really nice glossy little head. Kind of looks like the head of a bug in a way. And there we go. There is the tan bully bluegill spider. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't already, please subscribe um, and hit that, hit that bell notification so that way you know when new future videos come come up. Um, I am back to tying, so hopefully I can. I, I might not be able to do one every week in the first little bit here until I'm fully healed, but um, this is a pretty simple fly for me to tie and something that. I can do, but um, hopefully soon I can get back to the more complex ones. Um, definitely check out my sponsor, Risen Fly. It's not the only reason I use their hooks. Um, I use them because they're a great price and they're really high quality. I mean, they're super strong for a nymph hook. I'm putting a lot of pressure on that. They're not bending. They're absolutely insanely sharp, especially these barbless ones, and they're a really good price. I mean, these are, man, I want to say like $4, $4.50 or something like that for the barbless and you get 25 of them per pack, so it's a really good price. Okay, uh, best off, you get a discount. And they sell rods, reels, I mean, anything you need for fly fishing, but um, your first order, you get a discount. That includes in the, the hooks and the rods and the reels, anything you buy at their shop. I type in McFly at checkout, and you'll get 15% off of your first order with them. And I'm telling you guys, you'll be really happy. I, I love that company. I think everything they make is really high quality, so um, you will not be disappointed. Well, if you... Have any questions go ahead and leave them in the uh, description section below um, in the comment section i will link to every product i use um, whether or not they're from risen or another company i will link to where you can get every single product i use in this this uh in this fly so uh, some of the links will be affiliated and they'll help me some of them won't be but um, definitely helps out the channel um, but thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.